Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Big Fella Static back again with another Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate video. We're gonna hopefully get past the uh, the boring episodes at the start, hopefully, or the boring uh, missions at the start, I should say. This video might be as long as the first one. In order to just make sure we're past it, I want to start getting into the actual. Uh... Man, it's thundering outside. I want to start getting into the actual meat of the game pretty soon for you guys. So I believe we decided that I had to do the Dragon Amber thing in order to progress, and this should be the last one? I don't know. I made a lot of bold assumptions in the first game, or the first episode, but it didn't turn out to be correct. So I'm just not gonna... I'm not gonna make myself look like a dumbass anymore. Uh, Alright, let's get into it. I'm gonna stop predicting things that'll happen, because I... My memory isn't the greatest, I misremember things, so I predict something's going to happen, then it doesn't happen, and I look like a fucking idiot. So, I'm just, I'm just tired. Let's just enjoy the game. Take it one step at a time. So, we're gonna be going after these dragon amber pieces, I believe I know where to find them. Uh, yep. We have the pickaxes for it, I'm pretty sure all I have to do is just hit up mining deposits. And I have a chance to get them, because I remember getting them last episode by accident. We'll make this quick. And again, I don't want to edit this too much. If uh, something happens that's unrelated to the video, I'll probably cut it out so you might see a jump here and there. But as far as the actual video and its content goes, I'm going to try and keep most of it in. That was quick. I want, the, I want the whole journey to be documented, even the boring bits. So you know uh, what all I'm doing where I'm going, what I'm planning, the steps I took to get there. If I have to fight the same monster 20 times in a row, I might cut out some of those fights entirely. Unless something interesting happens. But we'll see when we get there. I also might make each episode actually more than 40 minutes long. Just because I know this series is going to be really long. And it might be worth it to... Uh, Extend the length of each video so that there's a little bit more content compressed down. Like, what, what is, like, better, do you think? 500 episodes that are each 5 minutes long? Or 100 episodes that are each 25 minutes long? I think, personally, I would prefer the 100 episodes, so I'm, I might... I might extend everything to 40 to 50 minutes rather than 20 to 30 minutes compress the amount of episodes a little bit while getting more content out at the same time. I don't know, we'll see. This episode is definitely probably going to be more than 40 minutes long, just to make sure that we're past the boring intro and the main gameplay loop of the experience gets started. We'll see. We will see. We almost have the amber pieces we need to finish this mission. I think we needed three, and we have two right now. Yep. So one more. I forgot to get the map, didn't I? Whoops. Uh, oh no, there is one in here. There's two in here. Surely I'll get the piece from here. Stone was stolen. I, I don't care about that. You can keep that, actually. Fine by me, big guy. It really is thunderstorming outside. My family and I moved to this area just a couple of months ago. We moved into this house. It's out of state from where we've been. Oh, all right, man. What do you steal? Bone husk? Okay, I don't care. It's out of state, so this is a completely new environment for us. We've been here for less than a year, and we've been in this house for only like two or three months now. And ever since we moved into this house, almost every single day, Literally almost every single day, it's been raining and thundering. This is apparently abnormal weather for the area. So, like, it's not like it's supposed to be doing this. It's kind of wild. Like, I don't have anything against the rain. But when you're moving into a place and there's, like, stuff you gotta do, you're trying to organize stuff. We have the garage open, trying to empty it out and reorganize it so that we can start working on things in there again and get it the way we want it. 
We have rooms inside of the house that are full of boxes, and we aim to move those boxes outside and into the garage, in most cases, for most of these boxes. But when it's raining every single day, that's hard. That, that makes it very hard. Everything that we put outside in order to move it, we have to move right back inside because it gets soaked immediately if we don't. So the moving process has been quite annoying because of the thunderstorm going on right now. But, uh, we'll get there. We're slowly making progress. Oh, I don't need anything from here. Hey, big guy. Can I get anything from you? I don't actually interact with this guy. I don't know what he does. Hey, thanks, man. I'm not going to use that. You know what? I will use that, actually, just for you. I don't interact with the Veggie Elder. I knew that he gave items, but I didn't know what it would be or, like, why. I don't know how it's determined. Interesting. Alright, if we were right, we should be at the urgent quest now, and we can move on to the next star, and we should start being able to fight actual monsters and get into the real part of the game. No? Was I wrong? What? No way I was wrong. What the hell else do I have to do? There's no way it's the Jaggy one. Is it the three Kelby horns? Alright. That's annoying. Uh, man, dude, we've been hard-locked at this star for so long. Am I doing a bunch of stuff I don't need to because I forgot what I'm supposed to do? That's uh, crazy unlucky. Getting some decent whetstones, though. That's pretty nice. Uh, Alright. Oh, iron ore. I don't want that in there. We have uh, some money. Are we able to make that weapon that we thought about making? The other? Oh yeah, we can. Normally I would make the iron katana, because I think the iron shit is really good for a starting baseline. But, I mean, that serrated jaw is pretty cool. And I mean, like, what's the point of doing a new run if I don't try out new things, you know what I mean? This is still better sharpness than what we have, regardless. Even though that sharpness is really bad. 20 more damage, slightly more yellow sharpness. I really should go for the Iron Katana, because that sharpness outweighs the 10 damage, but... Uh, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's go for this rated job. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Time to move on. This better be the last one. There's no way I'm supposed to do the Jaggy one. I don't remember doing that. I don't know, man. I'm, I just want the first star to be over. We're about to complete every first star mission that we have available right now. Maybe we should just go for it. Maybe just completely knock off first star. Depending on how long this run goes, I might actually end up trying to go for the Hayabusa Feather piece of armor, which does require me to complete every single village low rank mission in the game, with a few exceptions. So if we get the first star done now, then we don't have to do any of those later, if we do end up doing that. I have been thinking about that recently though, I don't know if the series will go that long. I do plan on beating the game, both the village and the hub, in this series. But after I beat the final boss in the hub with this character, I I don't know if I want to keep this character going, or if I want to switch the series to my main profile, where we continue from my main profile to try and progress him on my quest to get max rank. I'm not sure. 
We got one kill. We still get plenty of time to think about it. That is a long ways away. We're still at the start of the game. But I'm not sure. If, uh, if anybody wants to give me feedback, go ahead. I don't know if I'll have any viewers on this channel by the time we get that far, but that is several months away, so maybe. Maybe there'll be like five people that find this channel by then. In which case I could receive feedback. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, Kelby, yeah, that's right. That's what we're here for. I forgot what the actual objective was. Nice. We need two more horns, I believe. Damn, I was hoping. These Kelby stand up really quick, don't they? So I, I need to go for them fast. Yep, I missed my fucking shot. I think they stand up way faster than normal small monsters despawn. Fuck. Normally you can, like, kill a few small monsters and then go through one by one and be alright. But with Kelby's, I think they stand up and leave way faster than that. So you have to do them one at a time or you're not getting them. That sucks. Any Kelby's in here? I think so, right? Yeah. Please give me the Kelby horn. I don't want to do this mission for any longer than I have to. Come on now. Kelby horn! Damn it. Oh, come on now. Are you for real? That sucks. Three warm pelts in a row. Son of a bitch. I'm assuming the first Kelby's have spawned back in, so we're just going to loop right back around to Area 2. There might be Kelby's actually in Area 4. Let's check there first. I don't know. I don't usually keep an eye out for Kelby, so I'm not sure where they spawn. Uh, nope, no Kelby's, just Eltharoths. So, two, seven, and five. That Kelby sound is so nostalgic. I first got into Monster Hunter from Monster Hunter 3. And then I remember the Kelby sound. Are you fucking kidding me? The Kelby sound was like one of the sounds I heard the earliest and the most playing that game. It sticks with me. They don't make that sound as much uh, in this game, I've noticed. But in 3U, they made it all the time. And I think they spawned in the first zone in the deserted island that you entered. So immediately after entering the map, you would just hear them screaming. From what I remember, anyway. I plan on playing 3U uh, again soon, actually. I still own my Wii U that I played it on originally. That was the only game I ever played on the Wii U, and I don't regret it. In fact, the only reason I still have the Wii U is because I plan on playing 3 again. I could play it on an emulator and... Like, probably be just as fine. But if I own the original, I'd rather play the original. But are you fuck? What is going on? Come on. We've killed like five in a row without getting it. The first Kelby we killed gave us a horn, then the next five don't give us any? Fuck off. Holy shit. I'm starting to get pissed off. How unfucking lucky do I have to be for this? I'm trying to finish these first missions as fast as possible, and this is what's going on? I'm having to run around in circles, killing just deer, hoping that they give me a basic item and the game just doesn't fucking want me to have it. 
I don't know the drop rates on these items, but the Kelby Horn can't be that damn uncommon. There's no way this is like a fucking 2% drop. So much for getting through all these missions in the second episode. I'm about to be just doing this for the next 30 fucking minutes. Are you for real right now? Finally, holy shit. Now one more. Is this gonna take me one minute or 55? I'm absolutely astounded that my sharpness had to drop on this mission. Just because I've had to kill way more Kelbys than I had any right to. Come on. Well, this sucks. I should have expected this to happen. I'm like the unluckiest dude of all time, and I have been my whole life. This kind of shit is constant. This could have a 100% drop rate, and I still would be having this experience. Yep, that sounds about right. Am I about to get a full inventory on white liver and warm pelts before I get a third motherfucking Kelby horn? Oh, for fuck's sake. Eight fucking warm pelts. Are you kidding me? I've done this mission before, like I said, because you have to do all the low rank missions, village, to unlock the Hayabusa feather, and I have that on my main profile. So I've done this, and I don't remember it going down like this. Pretty sure it was just an in and out. I don't remember having to circle around the map eight times to get three fucking items. There's three Kelby in here. There's no way I don't get one. Thank God. I'm not even going to kill the other ones. I don't need to. I don't want to. That was annoying. I'm trying to finish this shit as fast as possible. And the experience I get given is to wander around for how long? Yeah, almost 10 minutes. That was an almost 10 minute journey of walking in circles. Are you for real right now? just to get three basic items off of some basic deer small monster enemy. Nice one. Well, we're done with it now, so let's just not dwell on it. Let's just move on. Th this may or may not have even been necessary. I have no clue what the key is, and I thought that I completed all the keys like two missions ago. I have zero memory of needing to do this, so I don't know what I'm doing. Is this a complete waste of my time? I don't remember having to do Kelby Horns. I don't at all remember that. I don't know, we'll see. If I still didn't get the mission after this, then there's something else I'm missing. It's got to be not mission related, but there's somebody that I have to talk to that I just forgot about and I don't know where he is. Because there's absolutely no way that I haven't done all the key missions already. I thought it was the, the mushroom, the ferns, and then the, the... What was the other one? The bugs? I thought it was just that. With maybe, like, the amber pieces. I don't remember having to do anything besides those. Still nothing. Absolutely no way. That's the hub. That's not this. What am I missing?
I don't want to talk to you, man. I was trying to leave. You were body blocking the doorway. Who haven't I talked to over here? Yep, I know how trading works. There's no way. What the hell am I fucking missing? Am I supposed to do the jaggies? I don't remember doing this either. I don't remember ever doing this. What? But this is literally the only other option I have. We're, we're straight up doing all the one star quests. This is such a waste of my fucking time. I'm just trying to get to the exciting shit, because I know how boring this must be for you guys. Just watching me run in circles and collect shit. I don't want to cut it out, because then you're missing this part of the journey. If this bores you, please just move on, because this is really frustrating. I've done probably like three missions I didn't need to, and I don't know why I'm supposed to do this mission. This is the only option I have. I don't at all remember having to do this. Even though I've started a new run on like at least three or four separate occasions. So I've had to do this first star at least three or four separate times. And I don't ever remember having to fight Jaggies. Am I just stupid? Am I just dumb? Am I just forgetting something? What am I missing here? Why are we about to do every one-star mission just to move on and fight, like, the actual people of the game? I'm trying not to waste your time. I really am. But I, I've probably done, like, three or four missions that I didn't even need to up till now. Because I just didn't know. I don't remember having to do this. When I finish this, it's real, still probably not going to tell me anything. This probably still isn't a mission I have to do. If I don't get a red text bubble after this mission, I'm just looking it up. I swear to fuck, I only remember there being like three keys. Because I've looked at the list before. And I've done it before. I only remember there being like three keys and I've done like six missions so far. Let's just get this over with. Already 23 minutes in, it looks like. And we haven't done anything. I thought for sure we'd be at the Great Macau by now. I thought for sure we would be. I thought I would come in here, do one mission, and be done. But instead, we've done two. The second mission took 10 minutes because the game didn't want to give me these items. And now we're having to do a third. Holy shit. I want to reiterate, I've never had this problem before. I usually would just like do the first few missions that I thought were keys and I'd be right. And I did those same missions in this run, but it's, I'm not getting the same result and I don't know why. Clearly there's something I've forgotten that I would normally do. But I, I don't know what. Is this it? Because I don't remember doing this. In most cases, the missions you get from talking to people aren't keys. That's like how it goes for just about every single case. Why would I assume that this is an exception? I don't know, man. It's just frustrating. Because I, I've done, I know I've done like three missions that I didn't need to. Trying to just get through this as fast as possible for you guys. You're just watching me run in circles and do shit that I don't need to do for like my actual equipment. I'm just having to do that, so I move forward. And I thought we'd be past it by now, but I was wrong.
Might as well keep carving them though. It does take a little bit more time and that is annoying. But trying to stock up on resources early on, like I said last mission, is always a great idea. You don't know when you're going to use them, but if you do end up having to use them, you'll have them. And there we go. I'm not going to bother killing any more of them, I just don't feel like it. Ten is enough for me. Got bird wyvern fangs for almost every single one of those. Oh no, apparently I didn't. I don't know. Maybe it's because I got two or three of them in a row and that stuck with me. I felt like I got way more of them than I did. I only got four. Odd. Please give me the red text bubble. I'm tired of doing shit that I don't want to do. If we can at least fit the Great Macau in this video, I'll be fine with that. I just- I don't want another video of me doing nothing. I don't want the third fucking episode of the series to be when I actually get into the game. This is why I'm making these episodes longer, at least at the start. If uh, this was a normal sized video, this would be episode 3, and we'd be ending it right now to go on to episode 4. There's no way. Okay, there is a red. Thank fuck. Please, let me progress. Pressing that button. Red red text box of burn a village. This is probably the chief, right? If it's the chief, then I'm good. Oh, thank God! Please, dude. Great Macau. Great Macau. There we go. Damn. That was completely unnecessary. We have a yellow check box on the first star. Which means we've done literally every first star mission in the game. I believe blue checkbox means you've completed every mission in that star that you have available to you, but there are others in the game you can unlock. But yellow means you've straight up done them all. We completed every first star mission before we unlocked the urgent to go on to the next one. That wasn't on purpose. I didn't want that to happen. Get good. Wait, what did she just say? I'm going to read that in editing. I don't know what... Did she just tell me to get good? Where am I? I'm I'm gonna have to read what she just said in editing. That was a that was a strange experience. Okay, finally, at least one time in this episode, we're gonna actually see the real game. So you can understand that I'm not bullshitting when I say this game is fun. I didn't make that up. I know it seems like it up till now. Uh, let's see. I always go for heroics. Always go for foodie, just to be on the safe side. I don't know when I'll ever make a mistake and get myself killed. Speaking of which, uh, how are we doing on... Do we have any armor we can make? Yes. Compared to what? What is my armor? Can it will tell me? Ah, oh, there we go. Defense of two. Okay. I believe Great Macau armor gives me ten, if I remember right. It's usually how it goes with starting armors. Uh, I'd like to get some... Something to heal myself with, even if it's not much. Do I have blue mushrooms? Yep. Okay, well, let's do that then. Ninety-five, uh... 
that's that's good. But can I get something better? I don't want to talk to you. Oh my god. Why are you why are they constantly body blocking where I'm actually trying to go? That's cool, but I was trying to talk to you. Uh, I'm not gonna buy that yet. What did I come here for? Oh yeah, I remember. I'm here for you, the book of combos. Okay, book of combos one should be enough at 95%. There's no way it isn't. 100%, there we go. Damn. I'm not going to use the honey yet because I know I don't need to. Uh, and then we'll grab these. Uh, we'll put the herbs away, actually. I probably won't be needing to use them. There we go. We got potions. That's why I've been collecting the herbs and blue mushrooms for it. You can combine them to get potions, which is a basic healing item. And I want to make sure I'm stocked up on potions since we're actually going to go into a real fight for once. And I've been gathering the honey because you can combine those with potions to make mega potions, which are obviously, as the name suggests, superior potions. When we're in the later game, mega potions are basically a default. I always like to be fully stocked up on mega potions and potions, but in most cases, I just use mega potions. Only when, like, I'm low enough on health, but I know a Mega Potion would be overboard, do I really use a potion. Just kind of as, as a supplement to save items. Alright, where's this guy spawn? Does he spawn in two? I, I don't remember. Let's just... Let's go to two. This seems like a nice default area. Not two. Is it four then? I want to say it's four, but I also. I'm not going to make any assumptions. So far, every time I assume something's going to happen, it doesn't fucking happen. So. Yep. That's what I thought. Let's pick up this honey while we're at it. Can never go wrong with too much honey, especially in the early game like this. How much was that? That was six. Not bad. Six free honey. Like that. Ah, there he is. Area five. Third time's a charm, I guess. Alright, and I, I am not actually well acquainted with this guy's moveset. I never really had to be since he's the tutorial monster, so he's very basic. But I'd like, if possible, to pay attention to his moveset more so I can actually fight him properly. Rather than just, like, kind of swinging for the fences and hoping for the best. We'll see how it goes, though. He does have a pretty unique... A very unique move set with that tail of his. Damn, I thought I could get out of the way fast enough, and I was wrong. I want to see if I can... Alright, bad timing. Bad placement, I guess. Land some parries on him, maybe, because I don't usually do that in this fight against him. I just get out of the way. And so far, it's... Okay, didn't expect that to happen. So far, I'm failing in the parry department. I'm just getting out of the way of his attacks, which isn't perfect, it's not ideal. But I suppose it beats getting hit. Now let me see if I can parry this. That was nice! That was nice! I don't I don't usually even try to parry Great Macau, I just get out of the way and then counterattack him. But that was clean! That was actually pretty good. Was that a coincidence that he fell over that attack? Or if you hit him during that rush, 
Is it a guaranteed knockdown? I don't actually know. I'm gonna fight him again and see about pairing him again and see what happens. Because that's interesting. I know when he's on his tail, if you hit him enough, you can knock him down and get a free knockdown for that. But I don't usually parry his uh, lunge attack. So I don't know if that's a guaranteed knockdown or if I just so happen to do enough damage in that one hit that he got knocked down. I'm not sure. But I'd like to find out. I parried that and he didn't get knocked down. So either that was a different lunge or I was wrong. He got knocked down there though. And there he goes. Not bad. That was actually really clean. Even though I wasn't playing ideally against him, because again, my weapon is very heavy counter attack parry based, and I don't know his moveset well enough to parry consistently. Even despite that, we still killed him in less than five minutes. That was a four and a half minute fight. Hopefully you can tell now that I'm not lying. I really have played this game before. And against monsters that we'll fight in the future that I do have a lot more experience on, that I do know their moveset, and I can parry consistently, you should see that I'm against those monsters specifically. I, I put in the work. I I've put in a lot of time into this game, and I know how to play. I know I say and do stupid things, and I forget shit constantly. <laughs> but I, I am at least decent at this game, I swear. I promise. There we go. It took a long time, but we were finally able to fit in a fight. It shouldn't have taken that long. We completed literally every single first star mission in the game, which is not necessary, by the way. If you were to play this game and do only the key quests, you would have unlocked this urgent way sooner than I did. It's because I didn't remember what the keys were that I ended up doing that. Macau. Awesome. And now we're in two star quest. We have ranked up. Ranked up, and now we have access to Harvest Dunes so we can go out looking for resources. We can fight Great Macau again at any time, and we have all these other missions that we can go after. Hunt a Gendrome, Cephadrome. And uh, some more small monsters, it looks like. But there we go. Now We now have options. We are now in the thick of the game loop. We're still very early on, so these monsters are simple, they're easy, and there are a lot of gathering missions as well. But we're out of the tutorial phase, finally. This is the game now. And with that being said, let's knock off some more of these yellow, uh, yellow bubbles. Let's also get some more food unlocked. I have to talk to you again. What do you want to say? Nothing. Alright, wasting my time. Macau? You want me to fight some Macau? That's another mission we just unlocked by talking to her. Upgrading armor, I know. I know how that works. Speaking of which, let's take a look. Macau's armor. Eight. I thought it was ten, but it was eight. That's still six better than we have, right? Yep, that's pretty good. A six defense increase on everything if we were to make the whole Macau armor? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Shiny Beetle. Shiny Beetle again. Laranoth Hide. Alright, uh, well let's, uh, since we can make it, and it's a six defense increase, let's just go ahead and make the chest play right now. That's the only one we can make, though unfortunately. But, we at least made it. So there we go, look at that. Our first uh, armor change. Got the great Macau chest plate. Six more defense. It's pretty nice. Alright, I think 
let, let's set a goal. What are we trying to achieve here? Let's take a look at the upgrades to our weapon. So we can level it up. More sharpness and more damage for Monster Bone M and Sharp Fang. I don't think we have that unlocked yet. Monster Bone M sounds early middle game. So maybe maybe a monster in this star or the next one. And we don't have any of these unlocked until we level it up. Okay. We'll keep an eye out then. Monster Bone M and Sharp Fang. Maybe Great Macau would actually drop that. I do not know. I don't know. I don't know why. I... Again, I'm gonna beeline to the item box all the time because I just have a habit of doing that. I'm gonna beeline over there, sort, even though nothing is sorted and moving, and then delete. I'm gonna do that a lot. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. We're gonna look at the armor again. So the weapon, we can't really do anything. We'll keep an eye out for Monster Bone, M, and Sharp Fangs. But for armor, we need a Champion's Crest, which involves breaking the Macau's head in order to get his helmet. We need Shiny Beetle in order to get these two pieces. And then we need Laranoff Hide to get the leggings. I don't know if we'll make the full Great Macau set, but I do probably at least want to make some of his armor. So... With that being said, let's hunt him one more time, since I know we can do it pretty quick. I know this video has gone on for quite a while, but one more fight to make up for it. Make up for all the, uh, the lack of anything happening thus far. And so that we're one step closer to getting this thing. Uh, nothing that gives both, really? Oh, well, I'm probably not going to die, so let's uh, prioritize... Let's prioritize stamina. Go for Moxie, just in case. And we got it. Nice, we got Moxie. Let's go! This video is 43 minutes long, but I also think I might cut out part of the Kelby mission in order to save a little bit of time. I definitely want to fit this second Macau fight into the video, though, so that we can at least have two large monster hunts in this video, so that it wasn't a complete waste of time to watch this. Let's get it done fast. Get this done quick and go home. That was pretty cool. I'm gonna target his head in order to get, try and get that champion's crest. Nice. That was cool. Big damage. I thought he was going to be targeting me, but I was wrong. Uh, bad timing on that attack on my part. Oh, bad timing again. I tried to parry that, but I was slightly too late. Come on now. He's attacking real weirdly now that he's enraged. It's a whole bunch of like very fast attacks and running around that I can't really do much about. If I, I probably could if I knew his moveset better. Please stop doing the same attack. What, yeah, another time, please. Four in a row isn't enough. I'd rather it be 17. Oh, I'm down on sharpness. That's, that's bad. That almost got me screwed. Oh, we have first aid meds. I've been hesitant to heal because I didn't want to waste potions. But we have free supplies, so I'll use these first aid meds. We should be able to hold on to these potions. 
The only reason I have him is because I don't want to enter a mission without him, just in case. But I don't plan on using him. I want to save him for later. We're not exactly wealthy enough to just buy them at a whim at this point in the game. I'm trying to target that head, but it's not breaking. He's limping and it's still not broken? Can his head not break? I thought it could. Or is it broken and I can't tell? I think that's what it looks like when it's broken because I broke off feathers. Alright, so we've done it. We will most likely get a champion's crest from this. Most likely. Not a guarantee. But breaking his head does increase the odds. Can the camera move up, please? Thank you. Stop doing that attack! He's done that attack like 20 times. And it happens too fast for me to avoid it because I don't know his moveset enough to get the timing on it and like predict that it's coming. Wait, stop! He also always does it when I'm like right off to the corner. If you were to like charge at me from a little distance, I, I might be able to parry it just off of reaction. But not when I'm directly like in front of you diagonally. No, I thought I could get it. Oh man. I got greedy for damage. This dude is punishing me way more than the other guy was. This dude is all about the spam attacks. Wow. That first Macau fight actually went down pretty fairly. This, this dude is not playing fair at all. Still died though. In, I think, what is that? Only like almost 10 seconds or so longer that took. Well, there we go. Two great Macaws in one video. I don't know where we get Sharp Fangs or Monster Bone M from. I assume we can find Monster Bone M in a bone pile in a different map or from a monster that we haven't unlocked yet that's a little bit bigger I assume maybe we'll check out the uh, the harvest tour for the other map we have unlocked I didn't even see what it was and maybe we'll see if we can get a, a, a monster bone M from there because if we can then I would also assume we can get sharp fangs and if so, we can upgrade our weapon. Get better sharpness and 20 more damage. That's pretty good. Did we get a Champion's Crest? I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if we did. If we didn't, I'm going to be mad, though. Yeah, that sounds about right. I should have expected that. That sounds about exactly right. Fuck off. We need shiny beetles for those, and we need Laranoth hide for this. So we can't make any more armor. Although we could just make the jaggy stuff here. The exact same uh, defense. Or the Macau stuff. Like the regular Macau stuff. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's the exact same defense, and I don't care about skills at this point in the game. I'm just trying to get defense, so let's go ahead for that. So that's two pieces of armor taken care of. And we need shiny beetles for the leggings and the arms. And a champion's crest for the head. So if we fought Great Macau a couple more times and kept an eye out for bug spots to get the shiny beetles, we could be able to make the entire Great Macau set of armor besides the leggings, which... I don't care about because I have a different piece of armor that gives the same defense. That's fine. So then we'll have... How, how much total defense is that now? Hold on. Because what? This is 8, so it's a 6 increase. So we'll get 30 more defense out of this. That's pretty good. That is absolutely solid. We'll be going up from, I think, 10 all the way up to 40. So we'll be quadrupling the amount of defense we get if we make that whole set. That should be able to take us through the rest of this star into three star pretty safely. 
That, that's a very big defense increase, especially now. But with that, I'm going to save that for the next episode. I know it was boring. I know it took a lot more time than it should have because I didn't remember the key quests and I did them all. But we're there. We fought, had our first large monster fight. And now we're at the next star. We've unlocked the rest of the game. We're out of the tutorial phase. From now on, it's going to be the proper gameplay, proper grinding, proper monster hunting. Thank you for sticking with me. I know it must have been annoying to watch. I know it must have been boring. And I'm sure not all of you sat through all of it. And that's fine. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. You guys take care. Take it easy.